So, what makes us put on weight? Is it fat or is it sugar? We're in the middle of this obesity epidemic and the traditional paradigm is that the problem is fat. Fat makes you fat and therefore you should not eat butter or meat or products high in cholesterol because the cholesterol will get into your arteries, it will block your arteries and you will get a heart attack. And this understanding of food has been with us for the last few decades. And so we've developed a hundred billion dollar business of low fat food, muesli and other healthy foods. But even in 1972, John Yutkin wrote a book called Pure, White and Deadly. And in that book, we get a completely different paradigm. Sugar is the culprit of weight gain because sugar tells your body to store fat. Sugar messes with your insulin level and your insulin level determines whether your body stores the extra energy as fat. And what has happened when we went into low fat food is that we've added sugar to pretty much everything we eat. And we drink refined sugar in the form of soft drinks and sweets and chocolates and all these things. So we're really part of a sugar epidemic. And so we should change our whole diet. Now you have two paradigms, the fat paradigm and the sugar paradigm. And you could see that if we're stuck in a paradigm that is maybe the wrong paradigm, then a whole way of organizing our food, the whole way of organizing our food industry, the products that we eat, what we think is healthy, could be completely wrong. In the sugar paradigm, we would have completely different diets. We would have a completely different food industry. We would value and see things as healthy that would be completely different. And this difference between the fat paradigm and the sugar paradigm is interesting for a second reason. Why didn't we know about the John Yutkin book, Pure, White and Deadly, despite this great title? Because John Yutkin, his career had been destroyed by the people who believed in the fat paradigm. He wasn't allowed to speak at conferences. People made fun of him. He wasn't taken seriously as a researcher, even though he had a lot of research to back up his thesis. The problem with the paradigm is that everybody starts to believe in it and there is associations with power which want this paradigm to continue because they make low fat food. They don't want there to be a rival paradigm. They don't want there to be a different way to think of thinking about the problem. And so in this fat and sugar, not only have we probably been eating the wrong things for the last decades and do we have an obesity epidemic caused by something very different than we thought it was going to be, but it's also an explanation as to how these paradigms happen in the first place. So, is it fat or is it sugar?